Hello, welcome to Push Corp. I'm Isaiah Flora. In today's video, we're going to mill, grind, and blend welds on a steel cylinder. As we walk through this application, please leave a comment with any questions you have and we'll do our best to get you an answer. Please like and subscribe to keep up with all the different robotic applications coming through the lab. And as always, if you want to skip ahead to the application video, just hit that chapter below. We'll be working on a carbon steel cylinder with two weld seams on opposite sides. The end goal was to blend the welds into the parent material. We chose to mount the part on the end of our Kawasaki ZX300 robot, enabling us to take the part to multiple equipment setups within the same cell. The part had considerable variation in its weld height, so our first setup was a servo weld shaver mounted on an AFD82-3 compliance device to level the weld to a known height. This step could potentially be skipped by performing process improvements to the manual weld process or implementing robotic welding. The PushCorp SWS100 7.2 servo weld shaver performs a machining process using an 8.4 horsepower servo motor powering a 6 inch diameter slotting cutter mounted with replaceable carbide cutter inserts. Roller guide bearings that you can see here right on the parent material positioning the cutters at your desired height. Its remote adjust feature allows you to change the height of the cut as needed in your program. The weld shaver's roller guide bearings need to stay in contact with the parent material during the process to transmit the torque of the cut into the parent material, allowing the cutters to contact the welds without chipping. We accomplished that with a PushCorp AFD82-3, a bench-mounted passive compliance device. It has a linear stroke of 40 millimeters and a max force output of 100 pounds. Because the compliance device's main purpose in this application is to maintain a constant contact, precise force is not as important. This is the reason that for almost all of our weld shaving applications, we use our passive tooling. Now that the weld's at a known height, we move on to our second setup, the PushCorp SBS81. This backstand combines compliant force with a high torque 5.7 horsepower motor. It's outfitted with a remote belt tracking and belt brake sensors. We used an optional slack belt assembly as we were dealing with contoured parts. The media we ran for this operation was a 3M 984F 36 grit belt. This belt is ideal for robotic grinding applications with its fast cutting, long lasting Cupitron 2 minerals and its durable polyester cloth back. We started on the contact wheel to remove the rest of the weld down to the parent material. Many different durometers and serration patterns are available in the market. In this case, we used a smooth 50 durometer wheel. If needed, a harder serrated wheel would provide the customer an even more aggressive cut, reducing the cycle time. The contact wheel created a small flat spot that we then blended out using a slack belt assembly. An issue you can run into with slack belt operation is the media glazing over. This is due to the low pressures not fracturing the abrasive mineral to produce a fresh cutting edge. To minimize this, we recommend running these operations at the max belt tension the belt is rated for by the manufacturer. That's all the details, now let's get to the good stuff, here's the application video. First, we use the SWS100 to level the weld, giving us a consistent surface. Notice the compliance device is keeping the roller bearings in constant contact with the parent material. Now the weld is at a consistent, known height and ready for the next process. Moving over to the SBS81, we use the contact wheel to grind the weld flush to the parent material.
Lastly, we use the slack of belt to blend it all together. You'll notice in this clip we are working on a different weld scene. Our demos are an iterative process. In this case, it took us a few tries to dial it in. This part's now ready to move on down the production line. Hey, welcome back. If you want to see your parts in the demo lab or have interest in our equipment, please send an email to sales at pushcorp.com. Want to see more robotic grinding? We'll link a robotic grinding playlist in the description. That's all for this time. Thank you for watching.